arises can influence actually those trilateral relations if they even exist. Uh, you've seen uh, Steinmeier and Sikorsky uh, together with Mr. Lavrov. And, uh, and Steinmeier represents in the European Union the DAF and uh, Sikorsky the Falcons. And I think it is best uh, what can be done when Steinmeier and Sikorsky together go to Lavrov or uh, Germans or in other way. Uh, Germans and Poles together in Moscow because they uh, represent the whole specter of positions in the European Union and they can talk uh, to uh, the Russians and here uh, one can say uh, Poland has from all members of the European Union the best knowledge of the neighbors east of the European Union they have the know-how and uh, therefore uh, they should be heard, but on the other hand, not necessarily the hardliners uh, should uh, be dominating when we want uh, to, when we try to find a solution, this uh, should be a diplomatic solution, but on the other hand, and this Gallup uh, yesterday made clear, when the partner does, is breaking all international rules, then we have to take, we have to adapt to the new situation and draw uh, consequences in uh, uh, political, military, and economic uh, consequences. And I think uh, uh, Poland and Germany are uh, concerned in a different way by uh, 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 an embargo from the Russian side, uh, we can only hope uh, that uh, we uh, will not need to test uh, who is better in uh, coming to terms with uh, retaliation from the Russian side. The apples, uh, it's a rather funny uh, thing, but there are more serious goods uh, to be uh, sold, uh, goods at stake, and this uh, can be uh, very difficult. And in the end, nobody in Europe wants uh, worse relations with Russia. We are all were glad that Russia is being uh, integrated, uh, is coming, uh, is, is among the G7, uh, G8 now, uh, is, uh, is accepted, and so on. And the hope was that, uh, especially the hope of German politicians, that Russia accepts also the rules, the international rules and uh, the values which are connected with this. Uh, civilization by integration. And this, uh, uh, this approach seems to have failed. And I must uh, uh, say so, Putin is not very much uh, in, uh, impressed. And uh, that, uh, therefore, uh, other measures will have to be taken if this continues. We can only hope that it's not uh, the case, but I've uh, a little bit lost hope. In the, uh, one could uh, uh, show very funny things what has happened. For instance, the plan how Ukraine will be divided uh, in the future. This has been shown in uh, t uh, Polish television. Uh, Zhirinovsky is thought, uh, is thought to be the author. Uh, this is, you can find it in the internet. Uh, I've uh, shown that uh, in Germany, uh, when I had to explain uh, Polish-Russian uh, relations, uh, at uh, the, uh, or the, uh, the Polish approach to the Ukrainian uh, crisis, Polish politicians at once said, we, did, we do not want to get back our pre-war territories in Ukraine. There are 3% of Poles living. This would be uh, uh, horrible. We would only have trouble. Uh, this uh, is an uh, idiotic plan. Uh, it should not be discussed. But nevertheless, it has been shown in television. And at the first place, as one can see in the evening, it was the top news of the day. <laughs> This is also uh, characteristic a little bit 
uh, how, how these uh, societies or how the media are uh, tr uh, uh, treating uh, these news. It is very differently uh, in, uh, in the right wing press, in the le uh, liberal press, in the post communist press. Uh, this is interesting uh, according to my observation. Uh, here, the post communists have are the best in, uh, understand Putin best in Poland and in Germany. It's the post communists who uh, have a, a large understanding for what Putin is doing, breaking international law. It is, uh, but uh, this is a different uh, matter.